Hi and welcome to the off-grid garage here in sunny Portugal. Wait, welcome to my playhouse. Uh, guten Tag, wie geht's? Uh, ich hab mit deinem bla bla bla. Yeah, we have some boxes and this is gonna be a quick video because I am flying home tomorrow ish. Uh, this company uh, has sent me half of a very big battery and I did a battery similar in Denmark. It's a DIY box where you put in all of these cells. So in Denmark the box came first and I had to wait a month for the for the cells. Uh, here the cells has come first and then I'm, we're gonna probably have to wait three months for me to get here again to uh, to review the the box itself and put it together. So yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at the cells. They are the cells and the company. <laughs> I just found their web page because I couldn't say their name. Xinxian City Wanglang Technology Com Limited, and they have this box, which is the box I think they're sending me. It's um, it's an upright battery box. Uh, 48 volts and the cells should be 314 amp hours and the price is 483 dollars and you can expect some shipping on top of that Xinjiang and I'll leave links in the description so but just so that you know where this is from so this is a sponsored video and the four boxes are over here and this is actually the first time that we're doing a video from a garage here uh, which is gonna be an off-grid garage at some point right now it's on grid so uh, I have put up my Ryobi cabinet and as part of this project I have solar panels I have seven solar panels that are sitting here they are gonna go on to the roof when Morton sorts out where to get those long aluminium rails to put on and fasten those and so on and so forth so uh, yeah uh, solar panels are ready to go there and um, cells so this side up thank you and just very not gonna cut very deep here uh, these boxes are quite heavy I think they are about 20-25 kilograms the box so and okay we we'll get some get some hardware already here so I can already see that it must be a different system from the other one because here we have we have bus bars and we have um, and fasteners and we have these epoxy sheets to go in between the batteries so maybe there are some more than that let's get into it there are the cells and I am I'm seeing these the first time as you're seeing them on this channel anyway I'm sure they have been shown on multiple channels before oh yeah they're heavy so I'll just look at the the QR code. Oh, we have we have additional information here. Apparently, this is an MIMKHC lithium ion phosphate battery, 3.2 volts, and the capacity is 314 amp hours, and the power storage capacity is 1,004.8 watt hours. Internal resistance should be about 18 milliohms. Made in China. And they have put their own label on it. So this is the company where this battery is coming from. And thank you very much to them for wanting to work with me. We have had a bit of logistical problems uh, stuff getting here. These cells were shipped to me with the DPD, Deutsche something. And the box itself should be coming with FedEx. And yeah, FedEx hasn't, hasn't supplied that. So, um, so right now we only have the cells four in this box and four in each of the other boxes I have to correct myself I think I said there was two of these sheets there are actually four sheets so uh, yeah, we're all good and 
so there isn't much I can do. We could measure some voltage on these just for the heck of it. Okay, we have a voltmeter here. And we need to put this away. So, and it's plastic, so it can't short anything up. If you short these, uh, you will know about it. It's not a good idea. So plus and minus is marked on the batteries here, cells. So we'll just measure to see if they if they are good. So this one is 3.304. They are usually pretty close. 3.305. 3.304. So they are within. 10 millivolt that is very close no issues whatsoever i don't know if this is normal but i just had this out and put it upside down and you can hear fluids uh moving around in there i have never i never tried that with the ones i got in denmark uh, i hope it's normal <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's let's check next one. See if it does the same. It does. Okay. So now you might be thinking, well, Morton he has a big battery setup back in Denmark. Now he wants to build a big battery setup here in Portugal as well. Is this guy out of his mind? Well, let's not rule that out right away, but. Power here in Portugal is not nearly as expensive as it is in Denmark. But I have a really good use case for some power down here because in Portugal it's either very warm or quite cold. Not not cold cold, but it's like it's cold, but it's more like the houses are not built for the cold. They're built to keep the heat out. So in winter it becomes cold and humid and so what I am planning is to set up a air conditioning system I have purchased this air conditioning system it's an outside unit very big box and then there is three inside units there are only two here I have one of them inside I took it out of the box to see well more or less to sit and read the manual uh, and see what all the pipes and stuff and how big it was and where to put it in uh, you're not allowed to mount this yourself here in Portugal so uh, I couldn't actually buy it in Portugal because I wanted to to put it up myself and then have someone else come and connect it uh, so I could do most of the work like drilling holes in these very 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 thick Portuguese walls so that thing uses um, it doesn't use a lot of power but it uses consistent power most of the time when it's very very hot which is most of the time here in Portugal it's fantastic because a um, battery bank and solar panels well they do most of their work when it's very hot and the Sun is shining so that is awesome but in winter the sun isn't as reliable as it is in summer so we need some batteries and together with the battery we need an inverter so for this project i have uh, i've gotten myself a a very cheap inverter this is not uh, anything like what i have at home the one i have at home is a hybrid good tie inverter this is just a hybrid solar inverter which means that you can uh, you can connect it to your system and you can uh, you can connect a generator to it uh, hyper-ish um, let's just have it out for a second and see what it is so this is it uh, this is very inex sorry the multimeter wants to be shut off so this is very inexpensive it's not sponsored I purchased this uh, well, Patreon money, 250 euros, I think it was, for an inverter, and it can do 6,200 watts, I believe. It doesn't matter, I never use that much. Um, and it's very simple, if we look at the bottom here. First, we have a ground connection here, 
then we have a power in so we can connect a generator to it here then we have power out that is to power the house or whatever we want to power the pv in is the solar panels input here and then there is a battery over here plus and minus and we have an on off switch for the inverter and we have communications as well we have a little dongle here that comes with it so it can it can chat with some wi-fi so um, that is awesome so it can kind of be monitored from a from afar little dongle thing here that will go in somewhere i'm not entirely sure i haven't opened it up yet but some somewhere inside and um, yeah so my idea with this setup in portugal is that to to um, to keep the price down so this uh, inverter was as i said 250 euros there are seven solar panels here uh, and these are 505 watts we can see the the label over here actually there you can probably see that they were 64 euros each very affordable so that is 3500 watts of solar panels right there then we have the approximately 600 euro battery box when it gets here plus those cells 16 of them i think there are i actually i think there are about a thousand euros as well so 1600 16 1700 i'm not entirely sure on the prices yet but if i if i get smarter i will leave it in the description so the expensive components of my solar setup in portugal is uh ever so slightly less than 2400 euros it is for sure a bit of money but on the other hand i won't have to worry about how much i use that air conditioning unit so for this system i'm actually not um, planning to to feed the grid i'm not planning to sell any power to the portuguese power system it just becomes too complicated when you don't speak the language and not able to um, blah blah so whatever so my plan is i have my power cabinet here with uh, the meter and the, the breaker thing so this is where the, the power comes in from the power company and you can turn it off on uh, i think it's a false relay kind of an rc something it doesn't say maybe it's called something else well false relay then there's the meter counting the money that i owe them and then it goes over to my system and it go away okay it doesn't want to do that then there's another fault relay here uh, that will trick if something is bad and then there is all the fuses for the house i see that i have like eight spaces here i don't know if that's enough but my idea is to have an automatic transfer switch here one of those mechanical ones that that feels if there is power on the battery we're gonna use that as soon as the the battery and the solar system gives up it will switch over to grid power instead so it will go forth and back except with that big battery it can last days on battery so it will almost never switch over and um, so i need to figure out if i need to redo all of this or if i can work with what is here but uh, yeah that's um, that's the idea for this setup okay here is a very good example because uh, this will fit in my cabinet out there without me having to do anything uh, i think it only takes up two places two spots uh, i think i have four out there um, so this is um, you have input one and you have input two um, and then you have output and it will it will feel where there is power and there is a there is a preferred one and then there is the backup and you just have to wire it correctly they do actually have a little drawing here so the blue one is the backup so the top one is the backup and the, the number one is the common power and i would probably go ahead and switch those two so the backup would be grid power 
and the, the number one would be solar power so it would stay on solar power except if the solar power wasn't working it would switch to backup which would then be the grid so this is nothing 17 euros and i do not have to rearrange the whole electric box out there so the sun is kind of going down here in sunny portugal um i am really happy with the, this battery arriving i wish the box has gotten here as well mostly because i'm kind of sad that this nice company wants me to review their stuff and now i'm gonna have to wait until i get here again and I th my plan is January that is a little bit out in the future but um, yeah if I could ask you something uh, give them a little bit of love uh, just check out the links in the description just click it go see what they have you for sure don't have to buy anything before I review this thoroughly um, you can't know if it's any good before Morden makes a fool of himself first so but go check out the links and ch what what does it cost I don't know right now when I'm recording this I have to go and ask the company and they're in China and they're about probably about to go to work now so uh, there's probably some solar videos coming from Portugal when I get here next time so uh, Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.